Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. I made several mistakes, actually two big mistakes at the grocery store, and I knew better. Let's get started and talk about it. Okay, I was preparing for my very first what I call no spend. I've done low spends, and I've done no spends at a certain store, like, oh, I'm not going to shop Amazon this month, I'm not going to go to the Dollar Tree, things like that, right? But I've never done where I can't spend any money unless it's a bill for seven days. There's people that do no spends for a month. I've heard of people that do no spends for a year. So I'm making a big deal like, oh, this is my first no spend. I'm doing it for seven days. Well, when I went grocery shopping, the first mistake is I forgot the calculator. I thought, well, guess what? I have $200 left over in my budget. There's no way I could go over that. I'll just kind of add it up in my head as I go along. Is that effective? The answer is no, because we had two grocery starts going, okay? So, we'll end with that. Another big mistake I made is I was in a hurry. And then, number three, other big mistake I made, and Jordan Page, when I told you I got this idea from her, told us not to do. She said, one thing you don't want to do if you're planning for a no spend, she goes, you shouldn't even have to plan for it. She goes, unless you need something for a baby, she goes, I understand. But she said, you don't even plan for it. She goes, you should say I'm doing a no spend and start the next day. Well, I'm like, well, I really got to prepare for this seven days no challenge, so I'm going to really stock up on all my groceries. Well, the bottom line is I ended up going over budget only by $2, but I went $2 over budget for my October grocery spending. So, and you know, and you'll find out whether I spent any money during my seven days. I will let you know about that. But sometimes if there's five weeks in a month, I do definitely go over my budget when there's five weeks rather than four weeks in a month. But you will find out later on, I'm going to do a separate video on did I actually not spend any money? Did I end up running to the store and getting a couple things that I simply forgot? Did I make do without it? You will find that up coming up. But I'm going to tell you, we really got in the habit now the last month of always taking a calculator. Now, I know I could use my phone, but my husband prefers to use his calculator and he adds things up. I mean, that way you can put things back. I mean, but if you're just going, oh, this looks good. Oh, you know, I think that we could use this and you don't have a plan and you're just throwing things in there trying to quote stock up without a lot of thought process you can end up going over budget now I did put things back and with tax I was two dollars over budget which doesn't maybe seem bad but I really think that I could have done a lot better and saved more money and maybe spent a lot less money because we spent right around two hundred dollars because it was for a couple weeks I think we could have done better and spent about $125 if I would have brought the calculator and I would have acted like we were shopping for one week and not stop it stocking up. Because if I'm going to do no spins in the future, it can't be something where I'm saying, well, I've got to prepare for the no spins, so we've got to stock up on this, 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 and this. If you're doing that, you're not really saving that much money. But I will tell you results of that later. Biggest mistake I made, if I have to sum this entire video up in a nutshell, is, right. well, two big mistakes. Number one, rushing, because I was in a rush, because Aldi now closes at 8. Rushing and grocery shopping, if you want to save money, do not go together. You have to take time. And number two, adding up in my head and not taking a calculator, or using a calculator. I could have used my phone. I didn't. Not using my phone or a calculator that was another big mistake. So rushing and not knowing how much and getting to the cash register and going, surprise, well, I had an estimated idea. And guess what? It ended up being a little bit more than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be about 180 something. And with tax, it ended up being $202. Um, so I went $2 over budget this month. But I hope to upload the other video about how my no spend went and you'll find out how I did and will I do it again and what I learned. So that's all I have to say for now. Let me know how your grocery budget's going. Please put some money saving tips in the comments below. We always love to read them and learn from you. That's all I have to say. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope you come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye bye.